There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. I seem to recall... a town somewhere up north. Far, what was it called? That's it. Perseverance Mills. It was like sparks everywhere and then fire. She fought like hell to try and get him out. We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. Somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up, it started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Hello? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Is there a doctor with you? What's in the case? <laughs> I have no idea. Don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. Avoid that copyright. Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to episode three of The Long Dark. That episode really ended uh, in a different way than I thought it did. I thought we'd continue playing as Mackenzie, but... Uh, Seems like we're on to play someone else now. Oh, there's actually vehicles uh, with people in them. We must be playing as uh, Astrid now. Unless that's Astrid. I hope not. Oh. Okay. Well, that's the end of episode three, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Oh. So, she lives. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. Judging by those cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I... I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. <laughs> By the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Where am I? I told you. My house. You're still weak. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. I'm, uh... I I'll be, I'll be okay. Suit yourself. And let's talk. Hmm. Tell me more about your house. You said we're in your house. But how did I get here? I was out hunting. Came across you in the snow, buried. You'd been out there for hours, maybe even days. Nearly dead. Oh. Well, um, thank you. Finding me. 
Name is Molly. And don't thank me. <laughs> thank the crow. Crow? Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. Damn bird wouldn't shut up. Led him straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. Hmm. Very symbolic. Uh, I need to know about the kitchen. You got any food, Arby's? What are we talking about here? McDonald's? Kitchen? Burger King? By the time I got you here, there was no way I was carrying you upstairs. So you set up a bed in here. Hours out. This is the warmest room in the house. This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. So, the power's been out for a while? Yep. Think it'll come back? Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley, so we're usually prepared for it. Feels like you run this farm on generators for better part of the year. Hmm. Problem is, now the generators won't start. Or the cars, tractor, the TV's dead, radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, that's great. C can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? Call me an Uber? There's nobody to call. Oh. Nobody else lives around here? Nobody who'd help if you asked for it. You carried me here? Drag more like, but yeah. You're pretty far gone. You're a tough lady. I wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Well, all I remember is the tunnel. And the wolves. Being chased and then wandering. Forever. Like the world had no end. Yeah. In the woods. In the dark. You can wander for days until you get so hopelessly lost. There's just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town. Milton. Other side of the mountains. Old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. But you're not from there. No. The old town. Milton. It was a fire and... <laughs> Whoa, it's okay. You're all right now. Don't get too worked up. You nearly died out there. That does funny things to people. I was in a plane crash in the mountains. That's how I ended up in Milton. I, I got separated from... from, from a friend. They were in the crash, too? Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Wolves and... Worse. I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah? How are you so sure? <laughs> Nothing could break that stubborn skull. Thought you are worried about him. Yes. And there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. <laughs> I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said, nobody that sounds like your guy. Freezer's empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. 
I'll be heading out early to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Rest up some more. You don't look too good. Thank you. I will. And it's not safe out there, so just stay in the house. Right. I mean it. Stay in the house. Oh. Oh, I recognize that noise. Tea cuddles ready. Oh, man. I want to make some ramen right now. Oh, I still have my wedding ring on. Cool. I'm married, y'all. Oh, she's back. Ah. You're awake. Yes, I am. Thought you were resting. I was. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. Nice. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a... A kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Okay. Like, what the hell are you really doing out here? <sighs> it's a long story. Well, power's been out for... I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. Okay. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor, yeah. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. Like Dr. Dr. Dre. Oh, okay, so not the useful kind. I need to get to a town up north. Perseverance Mills. You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Well, there's some sick people there, and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash. The thing my friend might have. I need it if I'm going to help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in a plane crash might have? Right. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. That's right. You know what? You coming here? To Great Bear? Yeah. Not your best plan. So the people up north, in Perseverance Mills. Why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes. But you aren't gonna tell me what they are. No, I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them? You aren't gonna tell me what it is either. Well, you are a lady with a lot of secrets. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here? It's better for you to stay indoors. Why? Lots of wolves out there, and it's cold. You aren't strong enough to go out there yet. Trust me, it's for your own safety. I appreciate everything you've done to help. But I'd like to leave. I have to find my friend and get on with my work. When you're stronger. So, I'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. Mm. So, um, is your husband around? Husband? Seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed a uh, husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor, you should know that. I didn't mean to. Uh... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. What... I need space, I need to think. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Stay out of my shit. Whoa, language lady. Are you going outside? You don't have gloves or a coat on? Not the only one with secrets. 
You just had overalls and a sweater. That sounds warm, but not warm enough for out there. Oh, we can move around now. Chapter one, trauma. Well, I'm going to take your cooking pot, ma'am. Take that. Uh, look for clues that might tell you more about Molly. All right, well, Molly seems to be uh, a lover of tea. And she also leaves bloody, like, bags around the house. Okay. Check the journal for knowledge. Ooh, am I screaming? What's going on? Oh, I must be injured still. Let's see what's going on. Don't have any maps. Uh, oh, here. Sprained ankle and some pain. Okay, so we need to find... Uh, Oh, this is still caused by the plane crash. Uh, you've twisted your ankle and it's suffering a sprain. Mobility will be reduced until it heals over time. Okay, well, let's go ahead and find clues for Molly. What is this? Broken rifle? Looks like maybe the barrel exploded. Yeah. Whoever shot that got, like, something in the face. Okay, what else we got around here? Wait. That looks like Molly. From a while ago. Guys wearing a red shirt. Okay. Well, obviously, some other guy must live here, too. This is an awfully big house. And she was pretty defensive about when we called her on her husband. Let's go upstairs and check out what's going on up here. Uh, bedroom. That smarts a bit. Orange fabric. Torn from something. From that guy's shirt? Huh. Uh-oh. Is Molly like a crazy Canadian serial killer? Oh my god. Oh! Where's the phone? Here it is. Hello? Domino's. Uh, uh, hello? Thank God you answered. Molly? Yeah, it's me. Listen up, doctor. Okay. They have me surrounded. The cops? Smart sons of bitches. Wait, who has you surrounded? Are you in trouble? Not who. What? It's those damn wolves. They've cornered me in the barn. It sounds like they're trying to find a way in. But but wolves don't usually bother people. They don't bother people. Shit, lady, haven't you been paying attention? Never mind that. Okay, okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? Flower vase. Key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker. Grab the rifle rounds. Take the old revolver for protection. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Okay. Hurry. Uh, all okay. right. Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, love you. Bye. Gun locker. Stay out of everything else. Got it? Oh, I already stole the cooking pot. Is that okay? Okay. Oh, oh boy. Uh-oh. Molly's going to be mad. Okay. Uh, the, I know there was a vase in here next to the gun. So that must be it, right? Search vase. Okay, that must be it. Va vase? Oh, God, it's French. All right, basement key. Key to the basement of Molly's farmhouse. Okay, good. We gotta go. Got this suddenly uh, got a lot more exciting. Where's the basement? Oh, there it is. Well, that was lucky. Okay, I didn't take anything else from the house. Molly said to not take anything else, so I'm not gonna take anything but what she told me to. And possibly something to cure the sprain so I can get out there. Except these are my things, so I'm gonna take these, apparently. Okay, cool. Good. What's in here? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna also take these flares. I don't know, is it, oh, it, well, it's not nighttime. Alright, so much for that. Alright, let's see if we can get this sprain healed up. Please let there be something. Bandage, painkillers, perfect! Oh, that's exactly what I needed, yes. Okay, let's take the bandage onto the sprained ankle. And let's take the painkillers. Uh, let's see, pain, 3 hours and 27 minutes, or painkillers. Okay, let's take the painkillers for the right foot. Whew. Okay, that's good. Um... I grabbed all the stuff over there. Where's the locker? Oh no. Explosion? Well, that's the earthquakes they were talking about. What? Oh, there's a hand! I didn't see that. Oh boy. Oh, don't tell me that's Mackenzie. Holy shit! That's the guy from upstairs on the picture. Although he's wearing a gray shirt, not a red shirt. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter. People can change clothes, you idiot. Alright, that's true. Oh, a storm lantern. I'll take that too, even though Molly said not to, but... <laughs> I'm suddenly starting to need a lot more things. Revolver ammo. She wanted me to grab the rifle ammo too. And the revolver. Okay, let's reload it. Make sure it's loaded. I'm gonna pop a fool with my 9. Actually, this looks like a 44 or something. Wow. 
bad guys. Okay, what do we got around here? Uh, wood matches. Do I have any lantern oil? Oh, I should have actually uh, thought about that. Uh, maybe in this metal case. I don't know. Maybe she'll need it. I, I don't know. It. Sewing kit cloth. She's really telling me... Uh, I'm like, I'm torn between the two because I know I should take stuff, but she also said not to, and I don't know if it'll affect my relationship with her later if I see her again. Uh, I'm just going to go. We'll take the lantern oil and find some somewhere else. Okay, let's leave. Let's get out of here. At least we have a lantern. It might have some oil in it, so I guess that's not the worst case scenario. Although it is daytime, it seems like. There are the lines to the barn. What line? I'll take that orange soda too. I need it. I just I need it. Okay, follow the blizzard whatnot. Hello? Molly? I'm bringing you rifle rounds. And I have a gun too. You better not be hiding behind a tree or something. Is this an apple orchard? Oh, I see a lot of orchards around here. Okay, this is the blizzard line, I guess. Damn, it is whipping out here. Am I wearing the clothes, by the way? Oh, it looks like I automatically put them on. Okay. Well, we certainly shouldn't be out in a blizzard, but at least we got some protection. Oh, man, it is really cold. Can I pick that up? Yeah, yeah, Astrid's really cold. I know, I know. We didn't have much time. Our friend's surrounded. I daddled for as long as I could, but what is that? Uh-oh. No, you don't. There we go. Whew. Okay, let's reload. Oh, wait, I can't. My hands hurt now. Gotta get to Molly. Gotta deliver the rifle rounds. Damn wolves. I shot at that one. Oh, there's another one. Damn boy. See you in hell. Hellhound. Oh. Oh, that's great. Dominoes, have you heard about our two-tapping special? Hello? Is that you? Molly? Look, sorry I bailed on you, but I couldn't take a chance and wait. One of those big bastards broke into the barn. Yeah. And as luck would have it, I'd left my bow in here last summer completely forgot. Anyways, took care of that son of a bitch. You Molly, sure did. I was in your basement. Right. So? I, um, I found the body. Shit. Molly, who, who was it? None of your business. I told you to stay out of my shit. Uh. Okay. No flyer for a town meeting. Oh hell yeah, bingo night. Looks like the town's not too far from Ooh, this here. Wednesday at eight. If Mackenzie did pass through. He might have ended up there. Jesus. Okay. Woo. Well, we're bad shape. I tried to shoot that wolf, but uh, as she mentioned, if I hit him or not, it's not really a lot to kill a wolf. It's only enough to irritate them. She actually shot this thing several times. Look. There's a few bullet holes in him, plus two more arrows. Unless she ripped out more arrows. Good job, girl. Maybe we can actually make a bow now. It'd be a little better than a gun. Okay, well, we're extremely cold, and we're getting colder. We better pick up some... Uh... Oh, there's another storm. Oh, that one's broken. Good thing I took uh, one with me, then. Okay, uh, let's see here. We gotta grab some matches. I guess we gotta start a fire here. That's exactly what it's telling us to do. This come in handy. Oh, good. We have some extra stuff from that uh, wolf sprain earlier. Damn wolf. Oh, good. And a hatchet. Perfect. All right, let's start a fire here. 75% uh, chance of success. Let's get it going. Then we'll heal up our wounds and see if we can get some of our clothing operational again. Luckily, our time with Mackenzie has taught me a lot about uh, taking care of not only our hunger and thirst, but also our clothing and materials that we might have on us. And Molly's not, or sorry, Astrid's not carrying too much other than the uh, 44 Magnum and whatever else. I think it's a 44. I don't know. I'll just call it my 44 because it just sounds cool. Ooh, a bedroll. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Too bad it's not an egg roll. Oh, well. All right, let's see. Uh, look around before we do anything else. Okay, I got that first aid kit. Oh, there's some more stuff here. Some more cloth for repairs. Uh, let's see. So Molly took what seems to be a bow and arrow with her. 
So how did she get up top? Looks like there's a ladder up here. And it's blocked with branches and stuff. Maybe that's some hay or something. What's up there? Looks like a rope or something. Is there any way to get up there? There could be some good supplies up there. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, add some more stuff to the fire. There we go. Add some fuel here. Take that. Uh... There we go. Four hours of uh, stuff there as we craft now. All right, good. I didn't plan to take all this with me. Whew. All right, so here's our map. Now we know where the bingo hall is. So find Thompson's Crossing. So this is where we are now. Oh, this must be where we are now, actually. Pleasant Valley Outbuildings. Molly's Barn. Molly's Farmhouse. Ah, so we're closer to the road. So the barn is closer to the road, so we got to head east to Pleasant Valley Outbindings. There's a bridge there. And then possibly a community center? So there could be a town along this river. There's another bridge in the south. And it looks like this might be a actual way up to the hills. Okay. Of course, this doesn't really map out buildings for us, but at least it gives us somewhere to go. So we'll head east to the outbuildings. And then maybe across the bridge back onto the main road. Although I'd probably want to stay near the main road for the most part. Okay, we're getting nice and toasty now. Let's start taking care of some clothing issues. And our sprain from earlier. I should have some more painkillers, don't I? Let's uh, cure that sprain risk. And then the uh, painkillers. Luckily the wolf only kind of like bit at us a little bit. But we're good there. Luckily we have some more uh, bandages. Those wolves are more dangerous than ever because I don't have a good weapon to stop them. And I'll have to become a better shot with that handgun. That handles way differently than that uh, rifle did. But good thing I uh, took a shot at him. Let him know who's boss. Do I have any food? Uh, just some granola bars. Nothing big. Oh, we should make some water, though. That might be good for our travels. Uh, let's make some water with that pot I found. Yeah, cool. All right, let's melt like two liters of snow. Perfect. Excellent. Now, uh, I don't think I'm carrying any water on me aside from the only drink I've got is uh, 250 from that orange soda. Apparently, I start with 50 liters, so I guess we'll take that drink first before we finish here. It's about an hour until it's melted, so let's get ready to repair clothing. What do we got? Thermal underwear, a little wet on our uh, jeans. Wow, she's got nothing on but jeans and thermal underwear? Man, we're going to have to find some good stuff for her. Oh, she needs to repair that jacket right away. Uh, let's go ahead and repair that. Go. Come on, Astrid. You can do this. Good. That a girl. Excellent. Looks like we need two more cloth, but it's in better condition than it was before. Why does she have a... Is that a patch for the arm, or does that mean that she's... Is there some reason for that symbol on her arm? That armband. Interesting. What about the boots? 74%. Oh, damn. We... I thought we had cleared... cured leather, but I guess not. All right. How's that water? Six minutes? Okay. Let's take a look around a little bit more, and then we'll head out on the road. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. We already looked in the first aid kit. Light switch there, but it's on. Uh, what is this? Island gardens for island people. Grow local. Okay. Can we call her back? Uh, I don't want to do that. There's a hand cart here, but I don't have anything to break it down. That's obviously from metal. Big old wolfie there. And we can also sleep here in this hay, but I don't want to do that just yet. All right, so it's non-potable water. Let's go ahead and uh, wait time on that one. And boom, we're ready to go. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this water. I don't think we need to drink any. We'll just tough it out. How much more time on this fire? Two hours? Well, hopefully it doesn't burn our barn down. Call the cops, ma'am, if you have any problem with that. Okay, let's reload the handgun. Did I do that? Nope, let's put another round in there. All right, let's not miss this time. Let me get a little practice here at aiming. Starting to get the feel for it. What I'm essentially doing here is just trying to see if I can bring it... Like, if I'm not looking at the target, what the sensitivity is like. Aiming down sight versus not... Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, I think I got it. A little practice makes perfect. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, that that's right. That's right, Wolfie. We just spawned outside, and... Oh, now there's one hauling ass towards me. No. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, boy, there's wolves all over. She just left me out here? 
Oh, well, you know what? I think Molly's not going to come back because now uh, she knows that I discovered a body, so I think she wants me dead. Oh, man, there's wolves everywhere. Okay, we got to head towards something. There's the bridge there, a trussle bridge. Trussle bridge? Damn, I'm going to... If I shoot these wolves, it's just going to irritate them. Well, we better get moving before it's too late. Let me take a drink of water and hop out. Which way is that wolfie going? I wonder if I can sneak out the back way. Well, there's the farmhouse all the way over there. Stay away, wolves. Well, there's a deer over there. I had a little aiming practice now, but let's just stay away from our pursuers. He's going to be stalking me all the way into town now. Let's uh, get to the car as quickly as possible. There we go. Let's hope. All right, Astrid's saying something about the community hall. I'm smart enough now to open visors because of you kind people, so thank you very much for telling me to do so. Luckily, uh, or unfortunately, this is a bust. Can I switch seats? I wish I could sit in the other seat so I could see the, the wolves coming. Okay, I think we lost them. Oh, I don't have a pry bar. Okay. So there's the barn there. We went up the hill, now we're here. Heartbreak Bridge. Wonderful. Okay, so this is the bridge we saw on the map. Oh, the wolves are not happy with us. Come on, Astrid. We can do it. I see the uh, next barn over there. Just stay on the road. Are there any wolves? I don't see any dark movement on the horizon. Nothing behind us. This road is relatively clear for as blizzard as it was. It's like a huge blizzard and it was okay now. Oh, wait a minute. There's a crack in the fence. Let's get out of the get out of the road. Scanning the horizon for threats as we head towards what seems to be a safe barn, halfway point between the uh, bingo hall and uh, the barns, or the, uh, the previous barn at Molly's house. Okay, let's double time it. Let's go, girl. We don't have any protection from the snow. Man, she's trying to chug it through some really thick snow right now. Go, girl. You got this. All right. I see a house and a barn there. I can't feel my feet. I know. I know. Keep going. Come on, Astrid. May have been better, actually, to stay on the road now that I think of it, but... Actually, this is much better because now we have the protection of the fence on the right side. And we're out in the open, so if anything's approaching us, we can see it from any angle. Is that glowing up there? Is that a building up there? Alright, we gotta keep trucking. Let's go. Yep, now I can see a wolf to our right side. And one in front of us. Good thing we came out here. Get wrecked, you little turd. That's right. The hell out of here, you damn wolves. All right, no time to reload. Let's keep going towards the barn. It's a good, yeah, freezing. All right, it's a good thing we came through here. We were able to get the jump on the wolves. Yeah, let's do it. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Keep going, come on. Come on, keep going. Damn wolves. 
Luckily, I haven't gotten knocked down yet. They're everywhere. We have such little stuff, I'm in a desperate fight. Pleasant Valley Outbuildings. Good. I wonder if this is anywhere near Hidden Valley Ranch. Yeah, there's light coming up from the top there, and I think I see smoke. You see that out of the corner of the screen, upper left corner? It looks like there's a little bit of smoke. When we look directly at it, it kind of disappears, but... All right, there's definitely a barn further out back. Is that a... Oh, maybe we'll find a bow and arrow in here. There's an archery uh, target set up in the back. Whew. Man. All right, we got to find something to light a fire. There's some bow... Oh, there's actually a bow on the desk. Nobody Excellent. Needs this anymore. Hell yeah, we're going to start making an arrowhead. All right, Whew. let's get warmed up. Is there anywhere to make a fire in here? Let's put the damn handgun away just in case we meet somebody. And we'll take out a bow. Oh, never mind. H to put away, that's it. Excellent, some accelerant. Careful, careful, careful. What is what is this stuff? Oh, it's the uh, forest talkers. Oh, good, lots of food, good. Revolver cult cartridge. Excellent. Oh, yes, we found good ammo and a firearm cleaning kit. Good. All right, we're good on that. Glad we stopped at the barn. Ah, there's a barrel down there. Perfect. And we found some fuel, too, to light it. All right, we're in business. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, start a fire. Oh, we have no tinder. Um, firewood, though. Okay, uh, tinder. Any newspaper or something I can craft into Tinder? Uh, let me search the, the... Oh, there. Maybe I can craft that into something. Also, I didn't really check this very good. A bit more water. Perfect. Uh, let's check the truck. Maybe there'll be some newspaper. Nope. Damn. Okay, anything in the trunk? Or the uh, truck bed? Oh, there's a bedroll. Perfect. And a backpack. Excellent. I think I can use this. Good. More matches. Bedroll. Excellent. I can use that to repair more of my clothes. Oh, there's got to be tinder around here somewhere. I must have walked past it. Got to be something I can use, right? Ah, oh, there it is. Newsprint to work as tinder. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and start it up. Come on, baby. Come on. Start that fire. Let's go. Come on, it's going, it's going, yes! We're in good shape. Go, baby, come go. On, come on. Come on. Yep, come on. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Alright, good job, Astrid. I mean, Molly. No, it's Astrid. Okay. Whew. Now we have a little bit of a breathing opportunity. We gotta get to the uh, Thompson Crossing, which I, I would assume is like a church or something, like, you know, church night or something. Okay, let's just add all the fuel here. Anything I can cook? No, it's all crackers and crap. All right, let's do this. Um, if I eat the crackers, it'll give me 600 calories, but it'll be kind of salty. Like me. So let's just eat those, and then we'll drink some water and make some more. And let's get to crafting. Okay, cook. Water. Uh, water in the pot, please. Oh, I have to grab it back. Water, give me two liters. Yep. Go ahead and cook that. Perfect. Alright, now we're nice and toasty. Alright, so that barrel is warming up the entire barn. That's beautiful. Pry bar. I'll ah, take it. Perfect. A warm windbreaker. Excellent. Dog food. Yeah. Alright. Are we that desperate already? Oh, there's cardboard boxes here. I don't know if I have a knife, though. To cut that up. Search drawer. There must be something around here we can use. There we go. Okay, we can get that other locker. This will come in handy. Take everything, basically. Forest Talkers Collectible Part 2. What does that mean? Oh, it's... Some, okay. Don't need that. 
Find collectibles telling Forest Talker's side of the story. Oh. That must be a secondary objective. I feel really risky walking up here. I feel like I'm going to fall down. All right, let's open this locker. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Good. Stale peanut butter, that'll work. Okay. Food is looking good. Let's take a little drink. Let's use some of that soda. Or regular water. Oh, we have, we have three liters of it. Alright, let's just drink. If I carry a lot of water with me, the good news about that is at least I won't have to stop and make water again. Or f prioritize finding any of it. Cloth. Some quality tools. Alright, let's see what we can start repairing and crafting. Some more coal in here, girl. What do we got? Two hours? Let's throw one of those in. There we go. Okay, now we're nice and toasty. Let's get back to repairing our clothes. Get to 100% here. Alright, what do we got? Let's start with our lowest quality stuff. Windbreaker's probably a good one to warm up. 95% chance of success. It's almost nighttime too. We might want to stay the night in the barn. Or we could hightail it with the time left that we have. But I'd rather repair all of our clothes first. Ooh. Let's go ahead and repair that too. Come on, Astrid. You can do it. That a girl. I hear the water's boiling. Non-potable water. 27 minutes until boiled. Uh, let's do uh, the jeans now. Uh, requires more cloth. Damn. That means we'll have to rip some up. It's going to take a little bit of time. What's the bedroll quality at? 87, 85? Alright, actions. Harvest. 10? Holy crap! Go, girl. That water's got to be good now. Oh, did it dry up? Damn it. I thought it would give me a little bit more time. I had to take like 30 minutes to boil. That's alright. We didn't lose any time. We have plenty of water anyway. Didn't cost us nothing. We have plenty of water. What time is it now? Nighttime? We got an hour and nine minutes. Let's keep uh, adding some coal here. Nobody needs this anymore. And fuel up our barrel. Alright, if we sleep though, we're going to need water. So let's, uh, we'll do that before we go to bed. That's totally fine. The jeans have got to go. Okay, almost the middle of the night now. Okay, jeans are sitting at uh, 81%. 55, let's get those thermal underwear going. Get those repairs up. Okay, what are we looking at now? Warmth bonus plus 9, plus 5%. Or degrees. 11% wind protection with a 92% sprint. Pair those boots, girl. Thank God she and Mackenzie can uh, sew. Okay, that looks good. Socks are good. Underwear's alright. Mittens. Mm. Not too warm, but very flexible, lightweight gloves. Um going to go ahead and repair that shirt a little bit more. And I think we might be able to find a replacement for gloves pretty quickly. Looks like the repair failed. Let's try again. Alright. How are we doing on cloth? Six sheets of cloth remaining. Good. 87, 77. Let's get that hat repaired. Keep using that sewing kit. Until we're out of string. Okay. Oh. No, we don't want that. We could probably actually rip that up. Okay, 8,500. Anything like in the 70s will replace. Okay, let's go for the gloves then. And we'll call it good. Whew. Okay. Astrid's not too tired now, so let's prepare water. Do that one more time. 
because we'll need something to drink in the morning. So pass time till it's ready. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, the fire stopped. Oh, oopsies. Hello? Oh, oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna need to find coal. Okay. Well, it's lights out for this episode, everybody. I'm gonna throw some more coal into the fire, get it started again, take a nap, and we'll head out. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.